Named for the philanthropist who grew up in the Greater Grand Crossy neighborhood, Gary Comer College Prep is a Noble Street charter school. The new high school was designed by John Ronan Architects who built the adjacent Gary Comer Youth Center in 2006. The design process began with in-depth discussion about how the new school could use the existing youth center. We essentially eliminated common spaces in this facility um, and leveraged the youth center across the way as the space for all of our common spaces from breakfast to lunch to PE to choir to gardening to art. What that freed us to do with the building was it allowed the classrooms to grow in terms of number and to grow in terms of size. The design is straightforward with two floors of airy spacious classrooms arranged around a central core. Stairways at either end connect the floors and a bright atrium serves as the main entrance and access to a landscape path where students circulate from building to building. Before and after school, groups congregate in a courtyard protected from busy South Chicago Avenue. We took what were some secondary materials in the youth center, corrugated stainless steel, and those became primary materials here. There's a fence that actually blends into this building, becomes a screen, and then the facade material to really integrate uh, the design of the two buildings. The design reinforces student aspirations. Graphics in the lobby feature inspiring quotes. College crests decorate hallways. The school's motto is inset with pictures of famous cultural figures. And a university-style lecture hall lends a taste of college life. Floor-to-ceiling glass puts each and every classroom on display, supporting the school's values of transparency and accountability while bringing in light from skylit hallways. Gary Comer College Prep uh, very much has an approach of uh, transparency in everything that they do. The architecture helps really support that. I think through the daylighting of the building and the graphics that we incorporated into the architecture and even the glass looking into the classroom, the architecture not only reflects the culture of the school, but actually shapes it in a way. And, and that's something that we're very proud of and we feel is very successful here.